most of you don't know that you have to optimize your system for music production for audio so that the system will be more efficient and more ready to go with audio i've actually had so many questions around um once i export there's always audio dropout it doesn't sound the same thing as is in my daw so once i export it drops uh the quality you know so and during recording i don't have that uh, uh good quality that i desire now i'm going to be showing you some things you need to you know adjust uh in, within your system now first thing you want to do is to go to your control panel you can just type control and you see the pan there um this next thing you want to do is to go to um your sound uh, i think that you go to small icon okay yeah good you go to your sound i think most of you would have been familiar with this you go to your sound and make sure it's on no sounds then you apply and you go so that's just the beginning that's what you have to do first uh we'll dive into it deeply and you understand why it's very paramount to optimize your system for audio production um secondly power option that's the second thing you should do on this same control panel you click on high performance high performance favors performance but use enough energy high performance then you go to let me go back then you click change plan settings here change plan settings you come here then you make sure these guys are on never turn off the display never turn uh, put the computer on sleep never then you go further to click on change advanced power settings then you come to usb you come to usb you click um on the usb selective suspended settings you make sure this is on disable don't enable make sure it's on disable make sure it's on disable then you apply you click and as you can see all the settings i'm showing you is applied to my system <laughs> so so that's if i'm showing you something that i have not tried so you go back and um you go back and the next thing you want to do is um go back to control panel you look for system system go back to control panel and you look for system just underneath the sound you look for system click the system you go to you look for advanced system settings advanced system settings which is right here advanced system settings you come here you go to advanced system settings on the advanced you click on settings you click on settings now what are you trying to achieve with this you are trying to give your audio like your computer was not built was not manufactured for just audio it's a multifunctional system so it was not built for just audio now you are giving this computer command you're trying to turn things off and turn, turn some things on that are audio driven so that the computer will be more audio efficient will be more ready for audio which is your cpu we process only audio rather than sharing the work 
rather than giving other applications or other stuffs on the computer room to use the uh, uh, your CPU, you are telling the guy to you know focus more on audio, so you get the best out of your CPU. Now, for me, I don't really, I, I'm not using this guy for, I just use it for uh, this system for music production. So, I just adjust for best performance. So, the only disadvantage on this guy is that if you look at my fonts here, they are very tiny. Me, I'm more particular about the audio. It doesn't really concern me whether my fonts are small. If you look at my font size here, if, we, if, if you even look at the font size here, the font size here. You can see that they are very small. They are tiny. They don't have uh, stroke. They don't have depth. They are just tiny. And but I can see it very clearly. So I choose for uh, just for best performance. That's for that. Then another thing, you go to your advanced tab, which is very far. This is one of the most important things. So you have adjust for best performance of program. Off program, off program, and background services. Now, <laughs> this might be very confusing, you know. I have actually done a lot of research to put this together. So you want to choose um, background services. You want you you want to adjust for background services. That would make your your plugins. Uh, um, uh, function well, you know, react well, work well with your DAW because your system sees them as uh, um, as background uh, apps. So you want to choose that for that. Then you apply and click OK. As you can see, mine is already uh, on that setting, so I don't need to apply again and click OK. Now, what you want to do next is that um, you go to device manager. This is another big issue that I found out with a lot of audio dropouts. So, you go to device manager. Here, you right-click on your, uh, your start, start up logo and you click your device manager. Let's go again. Your device manager. <clears throat> your device manager is going to pop up. And you look for your USB, which is Universal Serial Box Controller, which is the last on my list here. Then what you want to do is you you uh and you click on it and you see all these guys here that are just here, all the USBs, you know. Right click each of them, go to properties, go to power management, and make sure that this allow the computer to run, to turn off the device to save power is turned off. Make sure it's turned off. Uncheck it. Most of the time it will be checked. Uncheck it and click OK. Go through all of them one by one. If anyone that has power management, this one does not have, so you just ignore it. Anyone that has power management, you make sure it's this one does not have. These are external stuff. Anyone that has power management, you click on the power management, you make sure it's turned off. So you do that, and that is for that, which is very uh um which is very important. Now, another very vital thing to this so audio dropout is you go to your start and go to settings. Go to settings. Uh, I've actually, this, this, this tutorial I'm making has been, it has been uh, my dream tutorial, but I've been procrastinating and procrastinating that, oh, I'm going to do it today, tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. So today I said, it's going to have a part two. I'm not going to finish. I don't want my videos... I don't really like my videos uh, to be very long. You go to settings and you look for privacy. This is my privacy. You look for privacy. Don't touch anything yet. You look, you come to your left hand side here. You look for 
um, background background apps applications apps you click on it and what you want to do is this you need to start turning off things that you don't need you can see my media player is on my microsoft blah 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 is on this printing 3d you are not printing phone link you are not linking paint 3d you are not painting skype you don't need them calculators you don't need them voice recorder which is what i'm using now. if you turn this voice recorder off you probably will not be able to talk to your system uh like i'm doing right now windows security blah 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 xbox calculator i don't know what you need the calculator for if you need it you can leave it but you just turn them off so blah 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 this is this is what system optimization for music production is all about so uh the next thing you want to do is um the next thing you want to do is um um this very one i'm going to show that is going to lead is going to lead to the part two of this very um system optimization i'm going to touch on it on my next video so what you want to do is to go to tax manager you just right click your tax bar and you go to tax manager like i just did you can even search it here on your search bar then you go to details 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 so you look for audio dg dot exe which is my third guy here this is what handles your audio you go to if i'm correct i don't know if i'm correct um you click on set priority set priority sometimes most of the times it will be on normal above normal set it on high priority you want your system your cpu to highly prioritize your audio so this is your audio dg.exe so you want to set set priority to high then you come to um you click when you set it to high it, to leave there by itself then you come to set affinity you see my set affinity normally normally it will be here it will be all everything you want to disengage all your calls these are your calls your cpus these are your calls disengage them and select just two you know why the cpu will try to divide the load to the calls you have and in this process you don't want to run anything that is why if you are going for a computer you need a single core performance you don't need to go for a computer that has 50 cores 30 cores you say ah my computer has 30 cores so that's not what you want to look out for you want to look out for single uh core performance single core performance you want to look for is computer that has speed you understand that has speed not core let's say for instance you're going for a computer that has 24 cores and 2.40 or 2.40 uh, uh, speed gigahertz as against a system that has just let's say 10 cores and has 5 gigahertz so the the one that has 5 gigahertz that has single core performance that has single core speed will will perform well will perform better so you need to tell the system give the system command on how to handle your audio because it has been programmed so you have to you know reprogram your system based off of what you want to use it for so we are trying to tell the system use single core for us 
But if the single core is not enough, the system already has a way of distributing it. If that single core you selected is not enough, if it requires the system to, uh, if it requires more cores, the system will share it. That is for that. So from here, um, I'm going to be talking about, from here, I'm going to still be talking about this guy in depth and tell you how to, you know, you know, um, how to set these calls to your DAWs to get the best performance from your BTA DAWs using this call settings too. But um, I'm going to be showing you in a different way. I'm still gathering that information. And once I'm done with that, I'll bring it to your table and we'll all enjoy it and, you know, have the best experience with our systems. And that is what I do. It's an actor giving you informations that are very, very vital to your career and to your talent. At this point, I'll be signing out. Thank you. You know, watch the video like as many times as you can. You need it. For those of you who are saying quality, sometimes your system might be okay, but it has. If it's your, if you are using your system for music, please optimize it.